Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another new video. Today we're going to talk about Polybar one more time. This, uh, this hopefully should be the last time we're going to talk about Polybar for a little while. And that's in part because I'm getting ready to do a bit of uh, window manager hopping. I've been using Awesome uh, basically the whole time since I switched to Linux. And I want to try out a few different things. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what to start with. Probably either BSBWM or DWM. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any uh, suggestions. Happy to take them. Uh, but before we can do that, I think it's a good idea to sort of prep our system a little bit. And I've been doing things the whole time to make sure that I could easily swap to different desktop environments or window managers if I want to. Um, part of the reason that I used Polybar originally, rather than the bar that's built into Awesome, is so that I could build out one bar and use it on multiple uh, systems. I mean, on multiple window managers or desktop environments. And I think that's a good idea. But we do need to do a little bit more prep to Polybar to make that as easy as possible. So uh, let's get started here. Oh, close one too many terminals. That's okay. Scale that up a little bit anyways. Uh, so if we go ahead and cd into our config slash polybar directory, uh, you can see basically we've got two files here, a config file and a launch.sh file. We're gonna split this up a little bit more is the real main idea here. So if we take a look at our config file, we basically have one bar that we're defining. It's called uh, bar slash Mac. And then in that bar, we're defining all of the different uh, fonts, all the different padding settings for it. Uh, and then if we come down here, we're defining what uh, actual modules we want to be on the bar and where we want them to be placed. And from that point on, the rest of this config is just building out all of those modules. Uh, the first thing we can do is export those modules out to a different file. So if I go ahead and let's just copy this config file into another file and call it modules, and then I'll go into that modules file and we can just start to clear out all the top bit where we're defining the bar. Then if we come down to the bottom and get rid of this sort of generic settings, we can get rid of that. And now what we should have is just a file that includes nothing but the sort of definitions for all of the different modules that we want to use. So then if we go back into the config file, all we should have to do is come right up here to the top and we're going to want to type include file equals, and then we're going to put the location to the file. Uh, so it's going to be our home directory slash configs slash polybar slash modules. And go ahead and save should include all of that. And what we should now be able to do is go below our, the place where we're defining our bar and just start to delete until we get down to that settings deal here. We can remove all of this nonsense, all of these modules, keep them all in a separate file. And uh, if it's not clear, the reason that we're doing this is because we're, um, depending on what window manager or desktop environment we're using, we might not want to use the exact same bar. So we want to make it easy to build out a few different Bar. So, you know, for example, here, if I take a look at the modules I'm using, in order to get tag switching up here in Awesome Window Manager, I'm having to do this sort of weird hacky thing in order to get it to function the way that I want. Shouldn't have to do that in a different um, window manager because there's a module called X Workspaces that should work pretty well in any other desktop environment or in any, in any other window manager. I tried it out in Awesome, didn't work as well. So I came up with a different solution that's kind of sloppy, but works for what I need it to. Anyways, go ahead and save this config file. And ideally, no changes should really be made. Um, what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and kill our polybar and then I'm going to run that launch.sh script again. And if we take a look, everything is back. So it looks like the linking up worked out perfectly. And now we can do a little bit more. So the other thing that I want to do is if we take a look here, uh, now we have a config file where we can define all of our bars. We have a launch shell script and we have a modules file where we're defining all our modules. So we separ separated things out a little bit, uh, but we can do a little bit more. One thing I do want to do is I want to create separate launch scripts for different uh, window managers. So for example here, I'm going to go into this launch.shell script and I just want to change the name of it to maybe awesome.sh. And then if I go into my config for awesome, uh, what I can do is that's slash config slash awesome slash RC Lua. Down here at the bottom, I have a spawn command to basically run that shell script at start. What I can do is just rename it so that we can have separate shell scripts for different setups here. So let's go ahead here and I'm going to go ahead and save and quit that. Uh, and then if we go ahead and reload awesome, it's gonna reorganize things on our uh, setup here a bit apparently. That is not ideal but we should be able to get them back pretty easily. Oh boy, the big time here. I don't know why that happened exactly. Okay, um, somewhere over here, I do have an OBS window. That's kind of important to find. 
Okay, there we go. I don't know exactly what happened there, but we're back. Anyways, uh, you can see our poly bar is still working. So there we go. Um, the next thing we want to do is change the name of the actual bar. So I'm going to go into the config here and I'm just going to call this now instead of Mac, my awesome bar. And then we need to go into the launch or the awesome.sh script and we need to change everywhere that Mac shows up. We need to change that to awesome. Okay. And again, we'll just kind of kill polybar and then run the awesome shell script again. I'm just going to totally kill and restart a few times to make sure that we're not breaking anything along the way. Better safe than sorry here in this particular case. So that looks pretty good. We can go back into the config now. And if we sort of zoom out a bit, you can see what we've got here. We've got basically this whole config is we're defining the colors. And I guess maybe it'd be a good idea to export those out to a different uh, script as well. So I guess we can go ahead and do that. Uh, let's just copy config and we'll make another file called colors. Go into that and we'll remove everything that isn't the colors. Cool. Get rid of all that nonsense. Okay, exit. And then we can go back into the config and link to the colors file. Delete all of that. Okay, everything's still looking good there. Okay, yeah, that looks nice. So now we have quite a simple little uh, place where we're defining the bar. I'm zooming out a bit. I know you can't read it, but you don't really need to read it right now. I'm just gonna basically collapse it all into one little bit here and we have one bar called awesome and everything is defined the way that we need it to be defined. I am going to move these up a bit um, so that down at the very bottom all we have is module positioning as this is sort of the thing that we're going to want to change the most from bar to bar. That looks great. Um, so now in theory what I could do is I'm just going to make a giant copy of this block that is our bar. We'll uh, move it down one, and now we have a second bar that we can slightly tweak the settings of. So let's say I want to change the name of the bar to open box, or I don't know. There we go. Now we have two uh, modules here, and let's just say, for example, I'm going to set the monitor setting to only display on one monitor. We'll do ZDP0, and I'm just gonna clear out these tag switching things in the middle. Go ahead and exit out of that, and I'll kill polybar, and then I'll run polybar open box. Boom. Now we have a bar, basically identical, except we don't have the tag switching module at the beginning. Cool, right? Yeah, pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. Then, I'm not sure if we can do this from D menu, but let's try to run the config slash polybar slash awesome dot sh here. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Um, so we'll just run the awesome dot sh file here and we should get our polybar back in a sec. Cool. I suppose the thing to do now is actually just go ahead and get into a different window manager, which I did not prep for very well because I don't actually have anything other than awesome installed right now, but that's okay. I guess since we typed in open box there, we'll just use all open box. That's fine. Um, I've never installed open box before, so let me just really quickly install open on Arch. I usually just do a little Google before, not because I really need instructions. I mean, it's usually quite easy to actually install it, but a lot of times if you look up like an article or a video or something, they'll tell you some of the things that you might want to know. I don't know, like what the default terminal is, you know, some of the default keyboard shortcuts to launch some apps if you're not using their default app, stuff like that. So let's see here. So what we got here, they're saying install xorg, do all that, make an x in NRC, cool, ezek openbox session, start x. So we'll copy four files into config.openbox directory. Not really sure how this is going to go. Let's just go ahead and do, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's probably in Pac-Man, right? So we'll do pacman dash ss ss and search for open box. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's do sudo pacman dash s open box. And okay, now we just need to, I guess, try to hop over there and see what happens, eh? Hot tip, uh, install Termite. This took me two tries. That's the default terminal on OpenBox, apparently, and Super Enter will launch Termite. <laughs> that seems like the kind of thing an installation guide should have mentioned. Not criticizing that particular installation guide. We pulled up too much, but maybe just mention install Termite. It's not that hard. Anyways, once we have a terminal, I'm pretty confident that we can get things set up here. So uh, really, I'm not really looking to do much config here. I don't really have any intention of using OpenBox. Nothing against OpenBox. It's just not 
really what I'm super interested in uh, checking out. Uh, I might, you know, I got it installed now, so I might as well mess around with it a little bit. But uh, we've got access to a terminal now, so let's see if we can get Polybar running. Uh, the first thing I will do is I'm going to go into my config for Polybar again. Uh, whoops, I wanted to CD into the config, sorry. Uh, and you'll see here, we did make a, looks like I didn't customize the colors in Termite for some reason. Did I just delete my Termite config? No, it's still there. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't. Anyways, if we go into the config file, we do we did make a bar. Or why on earth would you open that in the GUI in Vim and not on the terminal? Okay, gonna have to mess around with the default apps. Made a video about that if you're interested. Uh, anyways, if we take a look at the config config file we did make a bar for open box but uh, I think probably the best practice here is going to be to also make a separate launch script like I mentioned earlier so I'm going to copy the awesome dot shell script into open box dot shell script and we probably need to make that executable so that's chmod plus x i don't know if you have to do that whenever you duplicate uh, an executable script like that but we should be all set here anyways uh, and then let's go into that open box shell script and everywhere that we have awesome let's change it to open box Take a look now, we've got an awesome shell script and an open box shell script. They're actually identical, so it should display the bar on all three monitors, um, regardless. Uh, that's basically all my shell script and all my launch script does that's different than what some other people's might. All we've done is we have it switching from trying to load the awesome bar that we set up to the open box bar that we set up. So, in theory, when we get this working, it should look identical. It just won't have the tag switching module in the center of the screen. We need to make a config for open box, and the guide I'm looking at here does mention how to do that. Um, so we need to make a directory. You can do make dear dash p home directory slash config open box. So it's nice and nested in there. And then we need to do copy dash a from etcxdg open box and put it into config slash. Okay. So come in here, go into the config, search for open box. And oh wow, give us quite a few files here. So we have an auto start. That's probably what we we'll want. Uh, environment, menu, make it yourself, rc.xml, menu.xml, some scripts, PyCom toggle, nice. Looks like PyCom's already turned on for us, but I think that's just because I had it turned on and awesome, but cool. Anyways, um, I think this auto start file is what we're going to want. Would you stop trying to fucking open this up in every app at what I want? So let's just cd into config slash open box and... Okay, so this is the auto start file. It looks like what we could do in theory is just run, let's think about this here. So let's do slash home slash Mac slash dot config slash polybar slash, let's do awesome, no, open box dot sh. And in theory, I believe that should run the script on start. And then what we need to do is we need to figure out how to reload open box, open box, and then we run reconfigure. That did nothing. Open box reload. Um, let's just do open box man manual page for open box and let's search for reload. If open box is already running on a display, tell it to reload its configuration. Oh, so we want to do restart, I suppose, is what we want here. So, um, open box dash dash restart. Okay, I think that worked. Yep, it is on all three displays here. So cool. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think we've got a decent setup here to switch over to different window managers and desktop environments whenever we want to here and still use Polybar. There is a something spec on my monitor. That's gonna piss me off. Uh, anyways, I think we're pretty much all set up to try out some different uh, window managers. I do have one more video about Awesome on the way, a fairly comprehensive guide for theming Awesome, which I've been working on for a while. I basically read the whole document for awesome it took a while it might end up being bifurcated into two different videos uh, one about the Wii bar and one about theming awesome itself uh, so keep an eye out for those um, but that's it for this video thank you everyone for checking it out uh, still got the affiliate deal with pure VPN if you're looking for a VPN uh, that one seems to be a great option as far as I can tell and um, that's about it thanks for watching everyone